Good morning, Baltimore Ravens fans. Today's a special day for the Ravens. Did you realize? I, I, I think maybe some of y'all missed it. No, I don't think anybody missed it. Because today is the day that we finally, for the first time ever, hear from new offensive coordinator Todd Munkin. His first press conference with the Baltimore Ravens is today scheduled at 2 p.m. That's not why today's a special day I mean that, that is special though Because it's his introduction to everybody You can hear what he has to say About what he wants to do How he wants to do it I, And I know the question is going to be asked Well hopefully it will be Somebody going to ask it Hey What made you still take this job With the uncertainty uh, At the quarterback position Because right now we know the Ravens are talking to Lamar Jackson But we don't know if he'll be back or not And you don't know if he'll be back or not But you still took the job What made you choose the Baltimore Ravens? But And I'm sure there'll be a lot of other great questions asked to him But anyway That's not the only reason why today is a special day Another reason why today is a special day Is because this morning I was watching film on Jordan Addison And I was watching film And I'm like man the, the speed is there the route running is there I feel like he struggles a little bit with physical corners But but anyway, no, that's that's not the big news The big news today, uh, as you all already know um, Today is the day that the uh, franchise tag window officially opens And like we discussed briefly earlier uh, Ravens are sort of in the in a showdown with Lamar Jackson And as many of us have always expected Especially recently uh, but it's almost like it's just a matter of time before that franchise tag is applied to Lamar Jackson. Uh, we are hoping that they can reach a deal. We can hoping that they can reach a contract extension. But uh, I'm just I don't think that it's likely uh, over these next two weeks. Of course, anything can happen. And we've been wrong before. There'll be times where we're wrong again. But I just I don't see it. So we'll see how that goes But a lot of us are expecting the franchise tag to be applied uh, to Lamar Jackson But today is the very first day that they can apply it Now, um, with the Baltimore Ravens Even though it is expected that the Ravens do apply the franchise tag to Lamar Jackson um, I think that they're going to take their time with it I know I was talking to one of my guys the other day And, and he was like, oh yeah, they're they, they going to tag Lamar right away I was like, no, no, I, I don't think so because you know with the Ravens, like with, with Ravens, when it comes to deadlines, they like pushing whatever it is that they're dealing with, whether it's a contract, whether it's picking up a fifth year option, whether it's this or that, whatever it is, they like pushing it all the way to the deadline. Like even y'all know with the uh, when the fifty three man roster comes out every year when they have to cut down when they had to go from ninety men to fifty three men on the roster every year. We hear of all these teams making all these moves days ahead of the, 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 the deadline, but the Ravens, usually every year, we don't hear about their moves. We hear about like all of them at the same time, right at the deadline, every time, because that's how the Ravens do things. I guess they want to think about every single possibility that there is, everything, every single scenario there is, and they, they push it to the limit. So with Lamar Jackson, even though the window officially opens today, um, I don't expect them to actually place the franchise tag on him until the deadline, which I believe is March 7th by 4 p.m. Uh, and with that deadline, and again, I know y'all are all familiar with all of this information because it's been talked about a lot. Um, but just to reiterate it, uh, with the deadline, uh, it, it, with the franchise tag, not even a deadline, we'll see which franchise tag they apply to Lamar Jackson. Because they, of course, they have their options. They have the exclusive franchise tag, which will be worth about $45 million. And all of that $45 million, it is right on the cap, right on the salary cap. So with that being said, if you apply the franchise tag to Lamar Jackson, then and you only have $28 million salary cap space right now, you got some moves to make. You, you, you got some moves to make, you got some things to do, you got some decisions to make. So with the exclusive franchise tag, I, I really do think that, um, I think that this will be the year that we get a resolution with Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Um, because I just feel like they, they need to rip this band-aid off. 
Because I feel like it's, it's, it's a band-aid with this whole situation right now. And what I mean when I say that is they either need to sign Lamar Jackson to a long-term deal. And again, we've heard the, the reports and the stories and whatnot that they've been offering him some, some significant money. We don't know what the exact money is, but we've heard it's been significant. Um, so e either they can they sign him to a long-term deal, but if they see that it's not going to happen, if they see that it's not going to go down, trade them. Don't, don't, don't prolong this thing. Don't, don't make it go on another year. Just whatever it is going to be, in my opinion, I feel like it needs to be that this offseason. It needs to be done so both parties can move forward amicably, of course. But both parties can move forward and they, they could just make it happen. Whatever's going to happen. Hopefully it's that Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, they can come to an agreement. But if not, we get it. So, because I just, th this thing has just been going on. It feels like it's been going on for forever. But it's only been like a couple of years. <laughs> it feels like it's been like forever. Um, but I just, I, I hope that this is the off season where... It, everything becomes official So Hey Ravens have agreed to Lamar Jackson Contract situation with Lamar Jackson Or hey the Ravens unfortunately they traded Lamar Jackson to here There everywhere wherever it may be So Both both parties both Lamar Jackson And his camp the Ravens and their camp They can all decide How they're going to move forward Now um, I would hope That they reach a resolution Before the draft because that would just that has such a big impact. If Lamar Jackson is with the Baltimore Ravens, then they would draft accordingly. Uh, if Lamar Jackson is not with the Baltimore Ravens, then they would draft accordingly. And of course, whatever new team he was with, they would draft accordingly as well. Um, but back to the franchise tag. Uh, yeah, there's that forty five million dollar. There's that exclusive franchise tag. And again, just to give you a reminder, that's the one where he cannot talk to any other teams. He can't do it. He can't talk to no other team. The Ravens can, of course, uh, but he can't. Um, and then if the Ravens agree to a trade with a team, of course, Lamar Jackson, he would still have to sign the franchise tag to facilitate the trade in the first place. So it's like both, both with the franchise tag, the exclusive franchise tag, uh, both the Ravens and Lamar, they both have their own set of leverage. Um, but in the end, I feel like with the exclusive franchise tag, Lamar has the most leverage because nothing can happen without his approval. If he says, nope, I don't want to go there. I'm not signing a franchise tag. Ravens could have the, the best offer in the world. It can't happen. It can't happen. Now, now the leverage that they have is, of course, that they can be the one that's talking to these other teams. They can come up with the trade package and whatnot with these other teams. But again, if Lamar doesn't approve... They can't do anything. They can't do anything. Now, there's, of course, the non-exclusive uh, franchise tag. Um, that's the one where there would be uh, the two. If, if he agrees to terms with another team, um, there would be the two first round picks that the Baltimore Ravens will get. Now, with that one, um, it's very interesting when you think about it, because if they apply that one, uh, obviously before the draft If he came up to an agreement with a team um, Then the Ravens will probably want Something for this draft And then of course next year's draft Two first round picks from this draft and next year But what if they did the non-exclusive franchise tag And maybe he didn't sign it until after the draft And they didn't facilitate a trade until after the draft He didn't Because uh, like if a team signed up to an offer sheet After the draft so then they would give up a 2024 and 2025 pick instead of a 2023 and 2024 pick. You get what I'm saying? So, and I, I still got to look at all the background and stuff to see exactly how that works. But I, I believe that that would be the case because with the franchise tag, the deadline uh, to sign a contract extension, I know it's the middle of July. I, I want to say it's like July 15th, I believe that's the deadline. It's either the 14th or the 15th. It's one of those two. It's right in the middle of July. So that, that is the last day that teams can sign their franchise players to contract extensions uh, from the franchise tag. Um, and, and as we've seen over the years, sometimes this thing, it, it gets worked out. 
Then other times it doesn't. I remember Ravens, uh, their most recent franchise player, um, Matt Judon. Matt Judon. And we all remember, like, in in his last year, uh, I didn't think he was going to get a contract extension. I didn't think he was going to get it. Then he didn't get it. Then they placed him on the franchise tag. I was like, okay, I think it was worth about, like, nine mil. Then there was that whole little battle. There was that whole dispute whether he was a, um, I think, an a, a outside linebacker or a DN because the money was different. And him and the Ravens, I believe they met in the middle. They met in the middle. They were like, oh, well, you're not quite an outside linebacker. Well, you're not just an outside linebacker, but you're not quite a DN. So they met him in the middle. But anyway, and, and that was, I, I respect it. That was, that was cool by them. But anyway, um, they placed him on the franchise tag. He played on it. And he's like, hey, okay, all right, what's up? But I think most people felt like he wasn't going to get a deal from the Baltimore Ravens. And he didn't get a deal from the Baltimore Ravens. And he went and got a deal from New England. And he went and did his thing. He's been doing his thing over there with the Patriots. So shout out to Matt Judon. Um, then there have been other guys that have been franchise tagged. I think was Terrell Suggs. I think Terrell Suggs was franchise tagged. Um, who else? Well, Chris McAllister is just like way back. Did Ray Rice get the Justin Tucker get it? I be forgetting a lot of people who got franchise tagged, man. Um, but it's, it's, it's been a, quite a few over the years. But Ravens, usually, um, they've gotten the deals done when they do. Uh, use the franchise tag Obviously minus Matt Judon uh, But with Lamar Jackson um, This is just completely different territory For them um, I've seen people say that with the Ravens Like they th This is new territory for them As far as having a, a superstar player uh, And I said well they've, they've had Ray Lewis And Ed Reeves and whatnot, But this is different Because this is a superstar at the quarterback position This is a superstar on offense so this is definitely com brand new territory, uncharted territory. Shout out to Drake. Y'all know the uncharted games, Naughty Dog. Anyway, this is uncharted territory for the Baltimore Ravens. And it, it just seemed like they're like, oh, what do we do? Well, what do we do? And again, they're they trying. They're trying. But obviously they, they, they ain't coming with the right numbers because honest people, they've been saying No. Because obviously they've been saying no Because ain't no deal reach yet So hey man That's why I say just I just really hope that this is the, the year Where I Hey whatever it's gonna be It's gonna be I have seen um, some Ravens fans And I mean we, we saw this already We saw it last year We saw it this past I mean we saw it two seasons ago We saw it this past season How they've been um, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans Sort of turning on Lamar Turning on him because the uh, the weight, the weight for a resolution is really starting to bother a lot of people. And I've seen some Ravens fans that have just been like, all right, you know what? Just, you know, I, I don't feel like waiting it out no more. This thing is taking too long. Just get rid of them. I'm like, Oof. I mean, I, I can't tell nobody how to feel. And everybody's, of course, entitled to their own opinion, which is the, the great thing about opinions. We all got them. We all got them, which is fun. Um, love sharing. Of course, y'all know we love sharing our opinion on here. Love hearing y'all opinions as well. We do that with questions from subscribers and everything like that. And then, of course, in the comment section, too. Um, but, yeah, they, I've, I've seen that quite a few times from people. I've seen it in the comment section. I've seen it on Twitter. Fa Ooh, Facebook. Ooh, yikes, that's a scary place. I don't like going there too often, but we have seen it. Um, but, yeah, people are like, oh, yeah, just just get it all. Just, just get rid of them. Just take it too long. He doesn't want to sign a deal. Just, just, just get rid of him. So it's like, ugh. It's crazy out here. But um, I, I get why people are frustrated. I don't agree with taking that route. Um, like I said, I, I do want whatever's going to happen to happen. But I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, man, since it's taking so long, just get rid of him. No, I want the Ravens to keep him. But I, just, I do want everything to be resolved uh, this year. Because it will be best for both sides. It really would. Because think about this, if, if Ravens and Lamar, they went into another offseason and there, there was no contract and it was like the franchise tag, it would be all of this, everything from last year, just all over again, all over again. Then there could be the, the threat of him holding out. Um, I don't think he, he's not going to sit out the season, but it could be the threat of him holding out. Uh, then every week after every game, oh, Lamar, his contract, it, it will be the talk of every game. 
more than it was last year. Because this year will be the franchise tag. Um, and it would just, yeah, it, it, it would just, it would be a lot of drama again. But it, it would just be more. It would be more. Because this will be Lamar Jackson in his sixth year with, uh, and still no deal. Still no deal. And then you would wonder, like, man, will, um, will him playing on a franchise tag, will that change how he plays will he be thinking will he be like second guessing stuff and whatnot and deciding you know what i'm i'm not gonna do that I, you know what i really don't want to do mm, you know what nah no thanks or he could just go out there and just be loose too but would he be fully loose without that the, with the lack of uh commitment from the ravens financially because one year is great hey one year 45 mil oh that's, that's a lot of money but long term if it's not there, uh, how, how would that make him feel? So, and then on top of that, like, what would the Ravens do in, because, again, the last year was a fifth-year option, and y'all know I was hoping, like, all right, Ravens, you didn't do it the first three years. I don't count the first year um, because he was a rookie that was still Flacco's team. But you didn't do it the, his, his first three years starting to where y'all really went all in, um, especially on offense. I was like, I was hoping last year, like, all right, fifth year option. Y'all obviously in contract talks. Surround this guy. Surround Lamar Jackson. Surround him with the, the best weapons that you could possibly get. Really feel the fire offensive team for him. Fifth year option. Like, you, you want him to prove it, right? You want him to prove why he deserves the money, even though you already did, but you want him to prove it, right? All right, hey, do your thing, Ravens. No, they didn't. They didn't. And I kept saying all offseason, hey, this is the cheapest. This is the cheapest Lamar is ever going to be, ever. Ever. He will never be this cheap again, ever. Take advantage. It's 23 mil. It's at least doubling next season. At least. No, they didn't do it. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. So, yeah, man. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But today, like, Today is a, is a special day. It's a significant day uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, it's a significant day for really the NFL, but Baltimore Ravens specifically because this is the day where everything can officially start, where we can finally start to get uh, some questions answered. Now, they, I don't expect them to be answered right away. Like I said earlier about the franchise tag, I expect them to really push it uh, to the deadline, really push it because that's what the Ravens do. So I wouldn't expect Lamar Jackson, if, if he does get franchise tag, which I expect him to, I wouldn't expect it to happen until the last day uh, of the deadline to be franchise tagged. So, yeah, man, just thought I'd share that with y'all. I, I, I love y'all. Uh, team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this thing goes. Uh, please uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your people. Uh, be good to people. Be nice to people. Um, even oof, even it's tough when people ain't so nice to you. Uh, I, I really love y'all and I respect y'all. Team, keep it clean. Like Lamar Jackson, hopefully won't be um, by the end of this off season, but we'll see. We out.